in this pandemic covid 19 when everyone is bothered about immune system how to boost our immune system let us see is there any connection between immune system and nervous system these two systems are of a part of our body but let us see whether there is any connection or not the immune and nervous systems are connected in a few known ways. These two seemingly different systems of the body interact with each other more often than most people know. Adrenal gland are one common link. Another is chemical and hormones that are produced by cells of the two systems are another connection. Additionally, research has shown that Brain has the ability to use nerve cell to communicate directly with the immune system, which means that there are more than three connections between this immune and nervous. On their own, the immune system and nervous system have two different functions. The immune system is responsible for protecting the body from bacteria, virus, and other foreign pathogens and try to invade us. Various nervous system relay information to the brain from the whole body, allowing movement, speech, and organ function. Due to their difference in these two systems, a connection between them would not generally seem likely. Many people cannot able to think that these two differently organs can have a connection. Adrenal glands are known for the hormone they produce in the response to stress. This hormone triggers the body release of stored energy. Corticosteroid hormone also have the ability to affect white blood cells and antibodies. Although adrenal glands are not part of immune system, they link this system together because hormone produced affect both the systems. Neuropeptides are a type of hormone that nerve cell release along with other hormones and chemicals. Their function is to carry message to organ and other cells in the nervous system. These chemicals and hormones are also linked in the immune system and nervous system because they can also pass message to the cell of the immune system. Additionally, lymphokinase such as interleukins have the ability to relay information from the immune system to the nervous system. Me Research has shown that brain connect the immune system and nervous system as well both. The brain may use nerve cells to send message directly to the immune system to trigger an immune response. Scientists have also discovered network of nerve fibers connected to the bone marrow, the spleen and few other organs in the body. In addition, the cell of the immune system may also be able to send message about foreign antigen to the brain. From here, the brain can signal the nervous system to react as well as we can interfere in it. It is also likely that brain uses this signal to guide nervous system to location throughout the body where they are needed to help immune system. Means the brain show a part to this system. Although a few connections have been discovered between immune system and nervous system, there could be many more that are still undiscovered. Function of the body still hold many mysteries. Especially when these two systems, continuous research is an important part of discovering link between these two systems. I hope scientists will again come up with more information about, do, about these two systems and we will gain more information about that. Hope for the best and stay safe, stay healthy. Have a great day ahead.